I feel like I haven't done a foundation review in a while and honestly I'm doing this one because one I'm struggling with the formula I don't know if I really like it or not so I need to do a wear test and I need to see it on camera but also too I'm struggling with the shades I'm trying to get better about my shade matches because I want you guys to be able to use my videos as a reference if you think we're shade twins so let me tell you about the foundation we're talking about. This is the Givenchy, Givenchy, however you pronounce it if you want to be fancy. This is the Prism Libre Skin Caring Matte Foundation. I decided to go with the matte version because I've been picking up a lot of dewy foundations lately. They do have a luminous version, but I did not want to get that one. And also because I plan on reviewing the NARS whatever it is, the Luminous New Skincare Foundation that just came out. So we went with this one. This one comes in 35 shades. It's $49 on Sephora's website. I picked up two shades. I picked up 6N405 and then 6W420. N405 was originally the shade that I thought was going to be best for me. And I'm going to go ahead and apply my primer while I'm talking. I'm using the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer today. This one is smoothing and it has rose hip oil, rose hip and argon oil in it. So it is pore perfecting. It does come out in kind of like a whipped texture. I've used this before and I like it. So I wanted to make sure I use something that I like. I do have my, my moisturizer on already and I use the Belief Aqua Balm. Um, because this foundation is matte, I did want to use products that weren't too mattifying on my skin. The first time I used this, God, what did I use? I don't even remember, but I felt like it was okay, but I just didn't feel like it wore very well. Maybe I used something too, like, radiant. I think more of like a moisturizing primer. I guess I used too much of this. Um, and then the second time I used it, I used, I can't remember. That's what I get. I think I was just trying stuff out, to be honest. And it was another just kind of radiant um, primer. And I wore it to the gym. Or maybe it wasn't radiant, but it was just smoothing. It wasn't, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> um, anyway, I wore it to the gym. And I felt like... It didn't last well and it settled into my lines and I was just like what is going on so I'm going to do a full day wear test with this it is currently 1124 and I wanted to start earlier but the friggin grass people were mowing this is peeling this is peeling on my hands right now I'm not sure if it's from my moisturizer or what I'm noticing it a little bit on my face as well but I'm not too worried about that so we're just going to let this sit for a second, let it sink in, and then I'll tell you about the foundation. So it says that it's medium coverage, liquid formula, long wearing, matte finish, waterproof, but hydrating. It also says that it is skincare infused with a long lasting matte, lightweight finish. It's natural while blurring and addresses imperfections for up to 24 hours. It says it is made with 97% natural origin ingredients and 82% skincare. I don't think I realized that before. It says it reduces the appearance of pores while addressing imperfections, mattifying, and hydrating. So not sure how that works. It says it has a buildable finish that lasts all day. Like I said, I've tried this twice. Um, I think the second time I wore it, I think I liked it a little better, but my issue was the color. So the first time, I wore the five, the neutral, the 405, and then the second time I wore the warm 420, and I felt like I looked too warm, like almost orange. So you can see my complexion right now. I'm gonna swatch these on my skin. I'm gonna swatch them on my chest, and I'm going to let them sit there for the day just to see which one I feel like looks better. So this is the N405, love the packaging, super luxe, super heavy, 
feel like you should get that with these brands, with these high-end brands. I'm gonna pump a little bit out right now, and I am gonna use the 405 shade today. You can see it is not running. She is thick. I'm gonna put that on this side here. And I'm just gonna kind of rub that in. No primer, anything on my chest. So just initially from looking at that, y'all are probably like, Barbara, that's your skin tone. Y'all, I feel like it's too light. And we know how I wear my foundation, so we know why I think that. But we're gonna let it dry down. And again, I'm gonna wear that one today. And then I'm gonna show you the W420. So this is the warm shade. So you can see the difference right away in the shades, but again, I'm gonna let it dry down so you can see the full picture because they never look like that after they dry down. So we are gonna go with the neutral. I do like how this looks on me more. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation to my face. I always use a brush, so that is what I'm gonna use. I know some people do comparisons with one side with a brush, one side with a sponge. I don't apply my foundation like that, so I'm not gonna start now. So I'm gonna take one pump, not color correcting or anything, and I'm gonna start with it in my problem areas and then put the rest on my forehead. I'm taking my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop brush. I just got this and I've been dying to use it. And I always start by stippling first to try to get the most coverage. And then the areas I don't need as much coverage, I go ahead and buff it into the skin. So you can already tell off the bat, this is not gonna be enough for what I like, but I think when it's blended in, I do like how this looks and the undertone of it. I just feel like it's a smidge too light for my preference. Please keep that in mind. I know y'all are gonna comment, which is fine. Please do. And tell me what you think, because sometimes what I see in person looks different than what I see on camera. I feel like right now in person, I need more foundation on my forehead. I'm gonna go ahead and put another pump but just based on this initial application, I do feel like it's a good match for me. So, and I do have a little bit of a tan. You probably can't see much, but you can see my line a tiny, tiny bit right there. Um, so if I get too much darker, this will probably be too light. So this is a full second pump. So again, in my problem areas and a little bit more on my forehead since I didn't apply a lot there earlier. So you can see it is definitely buildable. I'm adding more to my nose and the other areas that I didn't put a lot. I do feel like this has good coverage. I definitely feel like it is drying down pretty quickly. So comment and tell me what y'all think. I think, see that's the thing, when I initially apply it, I'm like, ooh, I like how this looks. It's so pretty. I like the tone of it, which is often more important to me than the shade itself. Again, this is the neutral on this side. This is the warm on this side. And I may try to get some natural light pictures inserted into the video as well so you guys can see, but this is dried down, so I can't, <laughs> I can't really blend it out anymore. But I mean, yeah, she is matte. And I probably, honestly, if I was going for more of a glam look, I would probably apply another layer and address these issues. You know what, I might. Because it says buildable, you can still see my little spot here but I just want you guys to be able to see up close what everything is looking like. I 
she is matte. If you need a matte foundation, this is it. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. I don't know, I'm only gonna do like a half a pump. I don't know that I ever really do three whole pumps of foundation. But this is again gonna go, and I'm not too worried about this area. Concealer normally helps with that. But just the areas where I see there is still some of my dark spots peeking through. And again, if I was trying to be super, super full coverage, I would be using a color corrector. Yeah, see, I don't think that's really adding any more coverage. Let's see on this spot over here. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I guess it is. You just have to be careful, like, you gotta pat it and leave it. Once you start swiping stuff around, it kind of blends it away. So that is it for the application itself. I think, I really like the tone of this. This is the biggest thing that this has going for it. I just can't help but feeling that it's a little too light. But again, this would be a foundation that I don't need to use a super bright concealer to try to lighten everything up. And then my contour is gonna be really overstated. This would be more of just like, I want everything to look evened out stay matte, wear well, and I could do more of a natural after three pumps of foundation, um, more of a natural looking makeup routine for the day. So I'm gonna stop there with the application. That was two and a half pumps. It is currently 11.35, time up there, 11.35, which of course you can't see. I didn't notice you can't see that. Anyway, trust me, it's 11.35. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit. I'm going to finish up the rest of my face, maybe in a little while. I think I'm just going to let this sit by itself and see what happens. Normally though, you know what I lie. I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer and my powder because I need to set my forehead. I always have an, this where it settles into my lines. So I want to give it a fair chance. I'm going to do my concealer, do my powder. And then I'm going to check in, let you guys see how it looks with the powder, and then do some check-ins throughout the day. So this is where we're finishing off with the face. I just went ahead and I put a little bronzer. I put a little blush. Y'all know I got to put my blush. Put some highlighter on. I use, I love this palette. Every time I use it, it reminds me of how much I love it on my lips because y'all always ask me and I'm a horrible YouTuber who does not share information. I have the Sephora Gel Lip crayon yeah sephora rouge gel lip liner this one is in the shade mesquite i lined my lips with that and then the lip color this is the makeup by mario what are these things called ultra suede cozy lip cream in the shade naked spice so i think i showed y'all toasty and i fell in love with it and then i went back to the store and i bought another one full price i ain't even gonna lie i used my points I wanted more of a nude and I think this is perfect. I do feel like this is a little matte, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this Patrick Ta Lip Pumping Gloss. This is in the shade, why can't I see? I think it's time to upgrade my contact lens prescription. This is two cc's. I really do think it's time. This is where we're starting. I wanna spray my face. And I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter because this is my favorite. I know it works well, I know it holds my makeup, and I don't have any issues. Right now, I think everything looks good. I feel like my forehead looks smooth. For my setting powder, I use my RCMA powder. I've had this forever. I think it looks good. It doesn't change the color too much, and I set my under eyes and my forehead pretty heavily, so. We're just gonna start with that. This is what I do when I want my makeup to last all day. So we better not have no problems. Right now, ooh, this might have had powder on it. <laughs> um, because this is do or die. Right now I'm literally trying to decide if I'm gonna keep this foundation or bring it back, regardless of what the shade is. We look a little bright, but it's all right. Under eyes are super bright because I did bake for a second, but 
this is our starting point. I think everything looks good. It's just how it wears throughout the day. Again, this is where, scoot back so you guys can see, where we're starting with the colors. Definitely think this shade is better for me and my skin tone than this one. I, even though I feel like if I got darker, this one could work. But I feel like whenever I took my pictures wearing this one, I looked yellow. So that's why we're keeping this on. We're gonna keep this on for today and I'm gonna try to let this sit all day and I'm gonna take some pictures. So this is our starting point. I will check in with you guys later, probably with some eyeshadow done because I have a palette I need to try out. So we're doing check-in number one. Yes, check-in number one. It is currently 4.45. You guys probably can't see that, but yeah, it's 4.45. And I guess I've had this on for about five hours now. I have had to reapply my concealer because I filmed this eyeshadow look and I did three looks. So I had to pretty much take a little bit of my concealer off and put it back on. But as far as the face, I do see a little bit of forehead wrinkles, but that's expected, especially with the amount of movement I did doing my eyeshadow. And everything else I haven't really touched up other than under my eyes from doing a makeup look. So I've been in the AC, been in the house, haven't ran errands yet. So I don't expect much to be happening right now. So we'll see what it looks like when I get out and about and start moving around. It is a little warm here. Temperature is currently saying that we are 78 degrees. So it's going to be a little warm. I'm going to be in and out the car walking around. So we'll get some elements. Not a workout day, but I'm a hot body, so I'm probably going to break a sweat. So I'm going to check in with you guys later, but... Just wanted to give you an up close look at what the foundation looks like. Y'all see my eyeshadow though? I'm not giving away what palette this is. You will see a review coming soon. Everything looks really smooth. So I feel like the other times I tried it before using a super um, like illuminating or hydrating primer might've been the problem, but we still got at least another probably five hours in this makeup. So I will check in with you guys later. Make sure I don't have nothing in my teeth because I just finished eating. Y'all don't laugh at me. I literally just went upstairs to go take my makeup off and I was like, crap, I have to film my outro. So I'm ready to get this makeup off my face. It is 1013. So I've had this on for a long time, almost 12 hours, 11 hours, whatever. Um, I'm just going to show this real quick so you guys can see. This is where we are with the dry down. I kept both of them on all day. I do think this is better for me as far as undertone. So I am going to bring this one back. Then this right here is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, the new one. Um, I did just film a haul of stuff I already bought. I am still observing my no buy. Um, and this was in there. So I just wanted to show for comparison and I like how that looks too. So yeah. This is where we are. I'm gonna come in close because, sorry, I don't have a zoom. Um, I'm gonna look at the beginning of this video when I'm editing it because I feel like I'm breaking out. I don't feel like I had this much texture on my face when I first did this video. And I feel like right here on my cheeks, right here on my forehead, like I see texture that I don't think I saw earlier. Now the problem is the primer I used, I have used before and I haven't used it in a while. It's a year old, could it be expired? It's probably more than a year old, I'm not even gonna lie. It is more than a year old. But I feel like I used it and I don't remember it breaking me out. So here's the problem. I used a new primer, I used a new foundation, and something broke me out. I do feel like I remember using that foundation on vacation and feeling like it gave me texture. So I thought it broke me out then. Only thing I can do, which I'm trying to decide if I wanna put myself through this again, is try to wait for this to clear up in a couple days and then try it again with a new, a new primer. 
a new primer that I have tried that I know doesn't break me out all of those things together so yeah I mean I feel like this wore better today than all the other days when I wore it I like it I do feel like it feels a little heavy on my face though but that could be because my face is having some kind of allergic reaction because I just feel uncomfortable like it doesn't feel like I normally just feel like when I have foundation on and my makeup is done but I also had issues with the liner that I used and I had to take my lashes off. My eyes have been bothering me. So it was just not a good makeup day for me. And I don't want to blame it on that foundation. I want to love it because it's high end and it has all these good claims and skincare. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to take one for the team, put my skin at risk to see if it works with a different primer. So this is an almost 12 hour wear test. I feel like it has settled a little bit in my lines up here and honestly a little bit in my smile lines, which I don't know that I feel like that happens a lot with me. I like how it looks. Like I like, I feel like I look good. It just doesn't feel comfortable right now. So jury's still out on it, but this is where I am. I am in shade 6N405 for my shade twins and yeah. So now I can go finish taking this off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more wear tests, comment below and let me know. I have a bunch of foundations and I was doing these for a while when I first started and then I got caught up in the hauls and the hair and the nails and the eyeshadows. So I want to get back to doing this if you guys want to see them. If you are new, I hope you join the family. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.